Good afternoon, hello, welcome to the Triathlon Dan YouTube channel. Welcome to video two of day one of the National 24 Hour Time Trial Championships, the Night Shift Edition. I'm supporting my, my, my club mate and buddy Lee Tunnicliffe. He's about eight hours into his campaign. He's going really well. He's done about 170, 273 miles. They've just moved on to the night circuit. So we've been doing a little loop around Priest Heath at the minute. He's now moved on to a different circuit. He's gonna have his last, well, his pre-night shift stop in a minute. So we'll see him there. Uh, James, how are we going to get this guy through the night? Uh, just be here for him if he needs us. Mm -hmm. um, but he should really, I think, just be getting on with it now. Mm -hmm. uh, he knows to come off the circuit and come to us if he wants food, drink, sit down, medical care, anything like that. Yeah. We'll probably have somebody walk up onto the circuit with a bottle. But I guess because it's night, he won't be able to grab it anyway. Yeah. And then it's just encouragement to keep him going. Excellent. Remind him that mm -hmm. morning's coming because that's when everything gets better. Right, got it. Okay. So James has done a couple of events where he's ridden through the night and I ran through the night. I don't know if I've mentioned stuff. it actually, <laughs> uh, but yeah. I have done quite a, a considerable event. Uh, but I, I don't want to. I didn't about. even mean to tee that up. <laughs> yeah. Excellent. Anyway, uh, if you haven't seen episode one, that was yesterday, please do go back and see that. Uh, I'll explain obviously what, what brought us to that point, but let's crack on. Lee! Lee! Is it visible? Lee! Oh, oh. Yeah. Stop, 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 stop. Right. So that's a carb mix. Yeah. Do you want something different to drink? Do you want your gelo on? Absolutely. Do you want your gelo? Absolutely not. Okay. <laughs> do, you want any, do you want your bag filling up for the night? Have a drink of that over there. Wow. I was gonna I was gonna stop and have a bit of a munch, but shall I get on my way and do one lap and then Yeah. You're going right now then. Yeah, you're That's going right. Lee. You know if you want food or drink, come back to here. We'll be out supporting, but come back to here for food and drink. So you are going right now and yeah. up and down there. So when you come down, come off here, look. Yeah. Spin around in that junction, come up here, and then rejoin the island here. Yeah. Oh right, okay. Yeah, because if we go around the corner, you're not going to be able to stop. I'll just do it now. Yeah. 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 Sit down. Got it. I didn't realise that. Come on. Yeah. Well, you don't have to. We could walk round there, but we're not going to have all the food no, and no, everything. Do you know what I mean? I'll it's fine. I'll do it. Peanuts, here. orange, <laughs> banana. What do you want to eat? Do you want to eat? Wash it. Yeah, please. Yeah. Lee, just shout a list of what you want. Food, drink, anything, clothing. The pole phones need to come off the dry bars because yep. you're getting on your nerves. Yep. Take that flapjack out the bag because yep. I, I can't eat it. Yep. We'll put the selection on the screen. That peak. Okay, take yep. your ones, cherries in his bag because yep. he can have them. Would you be alright just in like that? Yeah, I think so. He's going to pull them out and spit them out. Yeah, let's give him some shells. Anything else with a bite, Lee? Try that, Tommy. That's Lee, that's a different one. Stem, ginger, coconut, and sugar. Yeah, let's get some of these in his bag. Yeah. At 112 miles, you were 14 and you're flying. Keep consistent, keep tapping away. You will, yeah. you will do very well, mate. I feel like it's just going away, then. No, but everybody will be thinking that, and people are thinking that, and stopping, and you're keeping going. Yeah, absolutely brilliant. Yeah, absolutely brilliant. You've got some top quality food, James. <laughs> it's a nice spread. Do you want another trifle now? Yeah. Yeah. There's a piece of fruit with some oranges. <laughs> this is really good. You that, you? Matt, do you want to just check tyres while it's still around? <laughs> so it's no flint or anything. No, if they're not rubbing, or will keep them on. Perhaps I'll change them in the morning. Yeah. I need to try and ride a lot whilst it's cool, yeah, to be do. honest. I oh, I need to get gone, don't you? Yes. Yeah. When you don't eat him, just, just, look, just look at me and I'll wipe your face. When you don't no, he's done it. Are you done? Okay. Do you want this on your feet? Uh, on my neck, please. On your neck. I felt brand new when I left here. Yeah, I know, you time. could see the difference, mate. You looked absolutely fit. I was off. sprinting out of corners yeah. and all sorts. Yeah, down a bit. Do you want to start sticking your shoes on, though? You ready for shoes mm -hmm. on, Lee? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Going right this time. Going so right we are going to wait here for you, mate. We That's might it. walk up there and give you some encouragement. 
and there might be a bottle of water up there if you're desperate, but yeah. try to come here whenever you're ready to eat and drink, mm -hmm. yeah? We'll have a fresh pair of socks ready for you when you come back as well. Right. Will you swap shoes or will you keep shoes? I don't we'll have really shoes know. and socks here. Yeah. I kind of like these shoes. Fair enough. They're mega tight, aren't they? Alright, okay. Good <laughs> hell. <laughs> right, let me take that. I haven't quite finished. Yeah. These are amazing. <laughs> Do you want another? Right, there'll be Is one here for you next time. I knew you'd like that. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody does. Those and that peach were yeah. like the best thing ever. Pseudocrem? Oh yeah, good idea. <laughs> You'll have to do that yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually feeling a bit dizzy. Yeah. I oh, can't yeah. really it's see. Nice. Now when I come through here, I'm, nice I'm recognising just colours rather yeah. than actual yeah. people. Please be safe on the road, Lee. Okay. Wet white freezer. Yeah. Going right this time. So what are you doing about caffeine, propulsion, or anything like that? I've got them on the bike. Okay. I actually feel fine. Okay. There you go. Yeah. Watch your back, mate, pulling off. Going right this time. Just shout your number on the roundabout, Lee. Go, Lee. Go, Lee. Well done, Lee. Go, Lee. You, mate. Shout your number, Lee. <laughs> Brilliant. Whew. Happy with that, team? Yeah. <laughs> good. Same as last time. He felt good when he left. And I think that's all we can do. Yeah. It? He felt yeah. really good when he left, so. Okay, so the night shift is well underway. Uh, the Prees Heath roundabout, which is like the, the, the centre of most loops, is just over there. So our like camper van and setup is there. However, um, the riders come down here and go around this roundabout and go back. So it's not ideal for Lee stopping. We, he has said, or we told him, when he wants food and drink, he's going to pull in there. He's off the race course a little bit. He can have a little bit of time to stock up properly. We can't be handling bottles in the middle of the night like this. You just can't see. However, uh, we've come out a little bit onto the course just to give him some encouragement there's two different types of support isn't there one is actual physical like here's food and drink to enable you to carry on and second is actually motivating you to carry on and get you to do it because it's hard to know is such, such one-way conversation when we're telling him you're doing well here's this here's that and then he's gone we don't know how he feels so we're um, not that there's time to get into a deep and meaningful conversation with him I want to try and motivate him as much as we can because this is going to be the tough yeah. few hours so that's what we're going to do we're going to shout and scream like he's won the Ironman World Champs yeah. Go on, Lee. Go on, buddy, make it count. This is where it matters. Good work. Good work, buddy. Okay, so the time is about midnight now. Lee is on his second lap of the night loop. It's a lot longer than I thought it was. It's about 50 minutes, so just under an hour in total. A lot can happen in 50 minutes. So I've gone out about halfway down the loop so I can see him on the way out and the way back. I'm on a hill, so on the way out, it's not very good. Go on, Lee. Well done. That's not Lee. However, I'm gonna call everybody, go on Lee, who I don't know who it is because one of them will be Lee. Um, anyway, on a hill, so on the downhill, that's rubbish. But on the uphill, I'll be able to run alongside him, get a bit of conversation out of him, see how he is. More than anything, I'm just sensing, mm, is he all right, is he not? And then if he needs anything specific, I can then message the team at HQ. And when he gets there, he can, they'll have out what he has requested specifically. So uh, that should make it a bit more slicker. I've also got a set of wheels in my car. So if he should puncture, I'm a lot closer to him if he's down this end. There's also a set of wheels at HQ as well. So we've got him covered every which way. That's the plan. I'm going to try and obviously stay awake as well, so that's enough of a challenge in itself. Those who know me will know I'm a, a sleepy guy, but it helps just shout nobody on, so yeah, it should be good. I've also got my car taken over, charging, all these sorts of things. I feel like I'm falling asleep. You feel like you're what? Falling asleep. Okay, well keep yourself psyched up. I'll just put another car mix on the back. Do you want anything fizzy or anything? Oh, I don't think I've actually got much. You gonna stop in this lap for someone to eat? No. Okay. So what are you doing? Pro plus. Splash a bit of water on your face, sort of slightly rubbed it off a bit. Pro plus and paracetamol. You, okay. you can't give me a bottle with that in it. Can yeah, of course, man. Yeah, yeah. Just um. I'll swap it for this. Mm -hmm. Empty one out. 
If it was easy, everybody would do it, wouldn't they? Right, You've got it, mate. Go on. Come on, Lee. Push, buddy. Well done. What a mess. I didn't know he'd gone on the downhill on the way out. I was expecting him to come that way first. So, as you've seen, um, not the best, but he's not the worst, is he? So, he stopped and had some paracetamol and some Pro Plus. He said he feels like he's falling asleep. I've given him a bottle of water and he's got a bottle of carb mix. He said he wasn't going to stop on this lap. Maybe he should, but it's not always the best thing, is it? So, what I'll do now is I'll communicate that to the team that are at HQ, get them to psych him up. I'm just trying to. Shut up. Just trying to get him revved up because it's. It's just gone midnight. The guy's got four hours at least of uh, of Lee and night time to go he needs to get with it come on Lee so these things are a constant learning experience aren't they not a good time to learn when someone's relying on you but you do it all, all the same so I didn't bring any nutrition out with me because I thought well I'm only four or five miles away from the group they're going to be fueling him that's the plan we told him come back to the table if you want any food or drink we can't hand you anything it's pitch black etc etc as he came past me he said have you got any gels and I haven't got any gels on me why have I not brought any gels out when there was a box full at the HQ. I should have just chucked a couple in my pocket, a couple in the car or whatever. I've got some Lucozane and some water, but that's not what he wanted. He wanted gels, so maybe he wants caffeine in it, maybe he wants carbs in it, I don't know. He wanted it, I didn't have it. So what I did do is I sent a message to those at uh, the HQ who are a few miles up the road to say, Lee wants gels. And looking at the tracker, it looks like he has then stopped at HQ. So then it plays on my mind, okay, if I had those gels and given them to him, would he have got another lap in before he stopped? And there's other things going off like light, battery life, etc. that we all were thinking about. But it just plays on your mind. Could he have got another lap in? Could he have gone a bit further faster? Whatever. But there you go, learning curve. Hold on, up, 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 up. Good work. Just shouting outside people's houses, it's fine. Um, so, oh, update. Lee has done 238 and a half miles, 11 and a half hours of elapsed time, uh, 7,000 feet of climbing. That's an average speed of 20.9 miles per hour. However, that doesn't take into account the stopped time, which Lee is now stopped, obviously refueling and stuff. It's necessary. Uh, I'm sure he'll criticise himself with how many stops he's had, but uh, I think he's doing a good job of it. So yeah, he's, he's at the HQ now, just obviously fueling up. Then we're going to carry on. So 11 and a half hours, 238 miles. We're well on for for something for 24 hours but so much can change in this time so we're not going to start looking at that just yet we're just going to keep him going keep him moving keep him pedaling and then you know what in the morning i think we'll start looking at that sort of thing and try and motivate him some way but he was sick a little while ago well done up, up, up. coming off the night loop he was sick but that was like 50 miles ago so who knows okay so it's now quarter to two in the morning i've committed to staying up i think if i start napping i'll just end up feeling sick and it won't go well so i'm staying up um, now having a car that didn't cost very much money means i'm not too particular about boiling a kettle of water on top of it so here we go nice oat latte coming right up hope this is going to help me power through I need to stay awake for lee and if you're wondering who's on this mug there's your boy there's triathlon down that's a few years ago now anyway uh look forward to this latte good work up 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 People are absolutely flying. Middle of the night. Hold well on. Yeah. Keep, keep rolling, keep rolling, keep rolling. Keep rolling. Oh, buddy. Raspberry. You're absolutely smashing it. You just keep going, mate. You're absolutely chipping away. Loads of people dropping out. You've got it. You broke the back of it. Well over halfway. On for a solid ride, buddy. I've got more next lap. Oh, He's put it in his back oh God. <laughs> he could have told me. <laughs> oh, dear. Hey, you that you were running up that hill. <laughs> yeah. Thinking you get, you got me doing the ride. <laughs> exactly. See you soon, lads. <sighs> okay, I feel like I've redeemed myself. Uh, he shouted Lucas aid. I didn't have it in my hand, but I told him, keep rolling. I got it, ran up to him, so he kept moving. He drank most of it and put the rest of it in his pocket. But luckily, I'm oh, so unfit running wise. Uh, luckily I've got three or four bottles in the car, so. Well done, good work. So if you want some more next lap, I've got some. Whew, he's looking good. Okay, update from Support Squad HQ. I was getting a bit worried. I was checking the like, Wahoo Live tracker and it had paused. And I thought, he's only just had a stop the lap before. Like, what's going off? Is he struggling or what? And I messaged the group saying, 
is he stuck or is the, is the tracker kapoofed or whatever? And didn't have a reply for a few minutes. I was like, oh, oh like what's happening? Got a message from Matt. Uh, he had a puncture, he had a rear wheel puncture. So of course he's got tubular tires on, so that is a no-go. Uh, Matt says that he's now rolling on my rear disc, which is exactly the same wheel. It was a Zip Super 9 for a Zip Super 9. Um, and he said that he hardly lost any time. So that's really good to hear. A puncture could have been like, you know, race ending or, or severely, uh, you know, and uh, it's 3 a.m. all right. It could have added a lot of time onto his ride or, you know, a lot of stops time, but it doesn't sound like that happened. Uh, I've also here got a set of Zip 404 so a front and a rear wheel so and i know matt has also got another another spare rear so we're covered for wheels but that just makes it so worthwhile scratching around well done push 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 makes it so worthwhile like you know uh, collating all the wheels we've got and just using those for spares instead of repairing punctures so there we go well done and as i said to matt i bet i'll be loads faster now with the, the speeds my wheels used to go in i can't talk i might need a nap well buddy do you want any lucas aid yeah, go out mate. Just had a 20 these not cases. Just had a 20 minute power nap and I've just woke up and Lee's just gone down that way, which means he's got to roll up. Got about <laughs> got about 15 minutes before he comes back up this hill and it is just about starting getting light. So this, this is the turning point. If he's been feeling terrible in the night and mentally like challenged. It becoming daylight again must be such a motivator. So let's give him the berries. Let's get some motivation behind him when I just wake up in a minute and go for a wee. But um, yeah, I did, really, really didn't want to miss him coming back up this way because there's probably nothing more demotivated than your support crew being asleep. I don't doubt that this is probably alternated and took sleeps and stuff. That's absolutely fine. I just think on this right remote part here, when it's getting super tough, I need to, need to be out there. So let's go. Right, we're going to try and drop the video in now. I'm not sure if I can or not because copyright, whatever. Um, what do you want? Uh, can you have a look what time McDonald's opens and see if my dad can yep, get me a yep, breakfast yep. spun meal with yep. your coffee? Yeah, of course. Don't take that with you, I've got plenty. Mate, you absolutely smashed it. The sun's coming up. Here we go. Do you want to take one with you? No. Cheers, buddy. Thanks. Go on, Lee! Come on! So he's just pulled up to me a few minutes ago and he's just ticked over, or almost ticked over 300 miles. What does he want? The lad wants a McDonald's breakfast! Yes! <laughs> what an athlete! Uh, anyway, his dad Alan's going to fetch him a Mackey's breakfast, so here we go. Come on, Lee. It's about, I don't know what time it is, half past four. I'm just getting absolutely pumped up now. 20 minute power and I'm done and dusted. Just cranking the tunes up. I don't think there's any houses around here. I feel like there's something over the other side of there, but I'm not entirely sure. I'm just basically just trying to get the riders absolutely revved up. Let's go. Great riding. Well done, keep tapping away. Awesome work. Beautiful morning. Eh? Uh, lovely. <laughs> <laughs> what no case? I got love for you if you were born in the 80s. Just great work, keep tapping away, well done, awesome stuff. Push, 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 keep rolling, keep rolling, keep rolling, keep rolling, keep rolling, you okay? You okay, buddy? Yeah. What do you want? I just need a minute. Got your bike, I'll sit down. Here we lie, got yes, yes. I hit the pothole with this front wheel, you know. Yeah, don't worry about it, mate. Is it alright? Yeah. Well, no, but yeah. When you stop, get Matt to have a look at it. If you swap it, there's an 808 from at the, at the van. Has it lost pressure? No. It's absolutely fine. There's just a little kink in your, in your rim. That'll be an insurance claim. Don't worry about it now. That's all I get this ride done. You're absolutely flying. Well over 300 miles. We're on 312 or 315, something like that. Mm. Matt gave me two bottles of water. Yeah. And I haven't seen him. Oh, will you tell him I want to pin some arm numbers on? Yeah, we'll do. All right. He's a right. We'll do. All right, I'll get him sword. All right. Just keep tapping over. If you just keep moving, you'll be absolutely yeah, laughing. Yeah, I need to get up there because I'm yeah. fucking needing that. Right. Mackie's is there, mate. Right. See ya. 
Right, so as you saw there, I didn't want to worry Lee, but that front wheel is not good. There's a crack in his rim. Although he's not lost pressure, tubulars, tubulars are glued to the wheel, so that's probably a bit better. I've just radioed ahead to the you know, team car, whatever. Uh, basically, going to swap the front wheel for my spare front wheel, so another 808 front. Well, so Lee's going to have a sit down, have his breakfast, and try and gather himself a bit. That wasn't good that he just sat down then. Uh, he's obviously been on the bike for a lot of hours now. How many? I don't know. Nearly 16 or so. So it's probably just getting to him. Oh, there's not a lot you can do. I didn't want to bombard him with questions and stuff. Just let him get a bit of fluid down him, have a sit down. And other than that, you just got to sit and let him do that. I was going to give him a minute or two and then try and prompt him to get back on the bike, but he got back on quite promptly. So that's enough to spur him on. He knows he's getting his McDonald's at the, uh, in about 20 minutes, half an hour or so. So come on, Lee. Right, I genuinely hate to do this, but that's show business. I'm going to end today's video there. Oh my goodness, we've got about eight hours left of the race. Lee is uh, not looking too great. That wasn't good at all. However, hopefully Mackie's breakfast and a talking to from Triple Brutal James will uh, will pull him round. We've just been talking with a few other people. There's been a lot of people withdraw, of course. This is a race of attrition. You go through the night, you go through the hot, the cold. People are going to pull out nutrition, everything. And don't get me wrong, Lee could be one of those people. However, if he doesn't, he could be very well placed. I think he is on for somewhere between 460, 470 miles ish. There's so many variables, it's hard to say. But we're going to, do, going to do everything we can within our power to get him to that finish line today because he could be very, very well placed. Or even if he's not, it could be a great achievement. So thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button down below. But even if you don't, come back tomorrow at four o'clock and watch the final instalment of the National 24-Hour Time Trial Championships because this is shaping up to be an awesome day. It's going to get hot soon. It's going to get difficult. Oh, let's go.